And joining me now is Dr. Sarah Salon of the Natural Medicine Research Center at Hadassah Hospital, who is the, would you say, the fairy godmother, so to speak, of, of Methuselah that we hear now and that we see now in these beautiful dates that you have in your hands. Well, I wouldn't say exactly the fairy godmother. I would say that together with Elaine Soloway, we're the two mothers <laughs> of Methuselah. Elaine planted it. I conceived of the idea and uh, designed the study and wrote it for science and put the pieces together. You had to, like, kind of elbow your way through a lot of, a lot of guys to like have them give it to you for studying, right? This is Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was, wasn't easy. It took about a year uh, to convince the archaeologists that we were serious, that we thought we had a chance to grow it. And here we are with dates, yep. proving that miracles happen. Prove it. You're right. <laughs> There's nothing I can say. It's a, it's a kind of miracle. These seeds have been in the ground for 2,000 years, and it's a miracle that they can still sprout. It's a miracle miracle that they germinate at this time and it's a miracle that in these difficult times with so many problems this incredible tree the female produces fruit for the first time in 2,000 years. How yeah. beautiful that, that you know, Hannah, yeah. of all biblical matriarchs, is the one that, that is bearing fruit. Um, yeah. Originally, we called her Jeremiah because she came up near Tisha B'Av, and I thought it was a he. We didn't know if it was male or female, so we called him Jeremiah. But then the genetics turned out that it was female. So I thought, OK, Jeremiah, Hannah, Hannah's my mum called her Hannah. And Hannah is herself for such a story of a miracle pregnancy, just from the biblical story of it's Hannah. It's true. Yeah, yeah, have a Samuel. <laughs> yeah, have a Samuel. Right. We have a lot of Samuels. Yeah. So, okay, so, can I touch it? Here we go, drum roll. Yeah, yeah, ba -da -ba -da 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 -dum. yeah, got nice teeth, yeah. And it's delicious. Yeah, it's got a sort of honey taste it to it. It does. What is the goal of what to do? To okay, so look, there's there's two things that we want to do. We want to test them to see what their activity is. Now, they were used, uh, you know, particularly for bowels, regulate your bowels. They were used to strengthen your blood. They were used to improve your memory, yes. And they were used as an aphrodisiac. Whoa. And then, of course, the big dream is to make thousands of Hannahs. Now, Hannah's got a sister, Judith, who's still in the quarantine. She's not quite big enough to put out yet. But our aim is to make thousands and thousands of these ancient females use Methuselah's pollen, or maybe Adam or Jonah's pollen, to pollinate them, and to start a line of really Judean dates that once grew here and have grown again. Thanks to Elaine and Sarah. And Two three. women, time of the woman. Yeah, all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hannah well, agrees with you. Exactly. She, she's nodding over there. She's yeah. nodding. Well, I, see yeah. I see it. I see it. Anyway, yeah. thank you so much. This is so exciting, and I feel so proud to be able to be a part and to share this with all of you. Go on, eat it. Go on, go on, go on. It's just delicious.